Oh, I just love, love that, that song. song. Every Aww. time I hear it, it just kind of like gets you all revved up. So join us this morning in the studio, local legend, the blind Joe himself, the author and singer of that great song. I had to ask you, man. First off, thanks so much for being here. Hi, guys. Thank you it. so much for having me, when man. When you I appreciate hear that it. song, what goes through your veins? What goes through my veins? Oh, man, that's like a football just get rowdy and have a good time song, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you just, doesn't it make you just want to get up and just, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to scream, go Bison! <laughs> get crazy. And you know, all that, uh, I, I'm, I'm very thankful for that, by the way, uh, that, we, that we got to be, that I got to be a part of that and write that song. But all that amped upness and energy uh, is due to my buddies Nathan Stang and Matt Ockrey, uh, for, formerly of 32 Below, for uh, the drums and the guitars and the production on that thing, man. That's what really rocks it out. So big thanks to those guys for throwing it down like they so did. Seriously, I want to know, when you, when you wrote it and you sang it, did you know that you crushed it? Did you know it was going to come across the way it did? Or? Um, I, I think, I don't know that we, I thought, oh man, we crushed it, but I thought, you know, the goal was to kind of do like a Hank Jr. Monday Night Football kind of thing with it, so we were really happy with the results, man. Once, yeah. it, once we got knocked it out, I was like, oh yeah, dude, I mean, I can totally see a bunch <laughs> of tailgaters just drinking it up and having a good time to this one, and that was the goal, so I th I'm really proud of how it turned out, yeah. Sometimes I see you in the tailgate lot, because sometimes you'll show up and you'll yeah. sing and you'll play, and so uh, mm -hmm. we have you on today because, and this is selfish of me, but I'm like... J Blind Joe is leaving us, but I know that you're really going on to bigger, better things. What, well, what's hopefully, going on here? hopefully, yeah, we're trying to. Uh, well, we're heading to Nashville, actually. Um, I'll give you the kind of the lowdown on, on uh, how this all came about. This is something, of course, that I've wanted to do for a while, uh, being a country singer songwriter. Uh, but we were raising our niece, and uh, she's now uh, doing well and back with her mom. They moved out to Wyoming, so there's no time like the present for us to try to make the big move and do what we can to put North Dakota slash Minnesota on the map as Love far as it. country music is concerned, man. <laughs> so it, uh, it all started um, kind of a few months back. I, I did a show with a guy named Craig Morgan, and I was talking to his tour manager, and I had said, you know, I really want to get, take this to the next level, but I just don't know if I can do it from here. What do you think? And he goes, listen, man, you know, if you want to be in it, you just kind of got to be where the music is, and that's Nashville. So if you decide to, to take the plunge, give me a call, and, uh, and I'll help you any way I can. So that was a big motivator for me. And then this summer, we went to North Dakota Country Fest out in New Salem, and I had the pleasure of singing on stage with Travis Tritt. That was monumental for me uh, wow. yeah I'm surprised I didn't pee my pants and cry <laughs> but, <laughs> but and then I also sang uh, the next night with Jake Owen and Jake and I uh, got to talking a lot before and after the show and uh, he had just told me he said man look he goes honestly I know guys that have record deals that can't get up there with a guitar and do what you're doing so he goes go to Nashville and if they reject you just keep breaking down those doors man and I'm gonna do everything I can to help you out so so that was huge for me. I thought, well, that's all I need, man. Let's do it. I mean, let's, let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, so I got a little high on the hog after that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to contact the biggest, baddest honky-tonk in Nashville, and we're going to do this thing, man. Jake Owen and Travis Tritt think I'm awesome. You know? <laughs> so I did. I got a hold of Tootsie's world-famous Orchid Lounge mm -hmm. out there. Didn't hear anything back from them. And so that was a little, uh, a little crushing. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I got an email from the drummer of the house band at Tootsie's. And uh, she told me that uh, they had been trying to email me, but for some reason there was something wrong with the server, but they're very excited to have me out. They love the way I sound. And uh, once we get down there, we have an audition with everybody so we can start working. Wow. So, <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, man. Unbelievable. You know, the place where Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash cut their teeth, used to take their breaks and drink when they were playing at the Opry, just across the way. And... Uh, and now Blind Joe hitting that stage, man. What's up with that? That's <laughs> incredible, man. Congratulations. I love it, dude. I'm, I'm just, I'm so, we're, we're just so blessed. And it's been such a great ride, man. And, uh, and hopefully it'll keep getting bigger. We did have one snafu, though. We, uh, <laughs> we lost the engine in our van on the road. So that has kind of set us back, uh, well, I mean, if I'm being honest about it, probably about four grand. Mm. But uh, we... Uh, and, and, but it was okay because we've had a great summer and North Dakota Country Fest and everything went really well for us. And so um, we did have people asking, you know, hey, can we help out? We want to get you to Nashville. And 
I, I didn't want to, but I had so many people ask that we ended up setting up a donation button over at blindjoe.com. And uh, I go into the story over there and just kind of tell you what's going on. So just to offset the cost of that engine, uh, there is a donation button up there. If, if uh, you believe in us and what we're doing in this Nashville thing, uh, you can head on over to blindjoe.com and hit that up. But of course, you're under no obligation, man. All, all we want is uh, your support. And we've had it for so many years. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough, man. It's... Uh, <laughs> you just, do have an incredible I can't believe following. It. I, it's, I can't believe we're doing it. I can't believe it. Okay, we want to hear some music. We got to take a quick yeah. break. When we come back, we're going to uh, hear maybe an original Blind Joe song. Yeah, so stay with us.